Hey guys, I have a couple of items to share with you today. As you know, Tabby Star has been gradually fading over 100 years. A century's worth of photographic plates from 1890 to 1989 show that Tabby Star has gradually faded by about 20%. Another study using light measurements from Kepler telescope over a four-year period determined that Tabby Star dimmed at about 0.34% per year before dimming more rapidly by about 2.5% in only 200 days. It then returned to its previously slow fading rate. None of the other stars in this vicinity showed any dimming. Well, just recently, a study using data from both the Kepler and the recent dimming event has been conducted and confirms the long-term dimming trend. It also concludes, and this is really important, that accumulating dust is very unlikely to be the cause of the fading. On another topic, this is a chart of the recent dimming event. As you can see, the light from Tabby Star dipped about 2% this time and then rose back up to where it is almost back to its original brightness just before the dip. And this next chart shows the old Kepler data and the associated dips. If you notice the part in the graph in the red box, it looks somewhat similar to the previous graph I just showed of the recent dimming event. So here I superimposed the two dimming profiles and took a best fit. If there is a correlation between these two profiles, then there should be another dimming event in the next several days. Only time will tell. So in summary, another study confirms the gradual long-term dimming of Tabby star. Dust is most likely not the cause of this gradual dimming. And if a correlation exists between the recent dimming event and a similar curve from the old Kepler data, then a deep dimming event may be about to happen.